everyone is probably just a little bit confused because we look so much alike. But this is my cousin, the real Jim Harbaugh. Okay, so that may not be believable, all right? But one thing that is believable, whether you think Jim Harbaugh is great for college football, which I do, or you think he's an absolute pain in the ass, you can rest assured that Jim Harbaugh does not go unnoticed. That's a guarantee. Ten wins last year at Michigan. Another great recruiting class that includes the number one defensive player in the country, which we'll talk about in a little bit. A lot of players back for the Wolverines. Could be the year where they make a big impact in the Big Ten. If the Wolverines make it to the college football playoff this season, I can promise you it'll be because of defense. Last year, it was a huge strength for this team. Fourth in the country and total yards allowed, sacrificing just 280 total yards per game. And there are several defensive losses for the Wolverines, including Willie Henry, but this Michigan D, believe it or not, could be even better. And here's why. Don Brown now comes from Boston College, who had the number one D in the country last year, now to Ann Arbor to be their defensive coordinator. Defensive line is going to be rich with talent. Chris Wormley, a defensive ends back. And you have Ryan Glasgow, a defensive tackle. And the number one high school player in the country from a year ago, consensus, Rashawn Gary, 6'5", 293, explosive right off the snap of the ball. You have him. He'll play your number one, trust me. Secondary is pretty good, too, returning the likes of Jordan Lewis at corner. Linebacker would be the big concern because all three starters are gone. Keep in mind, it will now be a 4-2-5 alignment that the Wolverines will play. Jabril Peppers, he can play the corner, he can play the safety, and expect him this year to play a lot of outside linebacker. Wolverines! Jim Harbaugh football, it's simple. Be a power running team. However, in their three losses last year, that was Utah, Michigan State, and Ohio State, the Wolverines were far from that, averaging just 63 yards rushing per game in those three defeats. And in my opinion, it was just an average Michigan offense at best, and that's because the ground game wasn't always there. For the five offensive linemen return, and as a change, Mason Cole, the veteran left tackle, they'll move him to center. Backfield definitely has experience with Devion Smith, two-time leading rusher. He's back. To me, though, the passing game is going to be the big strength of this team because of the receivers back and the tight end. Tight end, Jake Butt, one of the best in the country. And you have the senior leadership at wide receivers, you can tell there, uh, with Chesson and with Darbo. Quarterback, that's a big mystery. Uh, Shane Morris is in the mix, but also, too, the Houston transfer, John O'Corn. But some believe that the starter come September is going to be Wilton Spate. Michigan has a favorable schedule, including eight home games. However, the three toughest games, as you see there, are all the way from the big house, and that really hurts. I still think Michigan will win quite a few games. Their defense alone gives them a shot at that. But lack of a proven ground attack, I think, will catch up with them, plus playing those difficult games on the road. That's my look at the Wolverines. Catch you later.